cube to bring me home, but I've sent it off I know not where. You listen well, brother. I do. Welcome Top 10 Channel. Today we will learn about Top 10 Things to Know About Thor. One. The character Thor made his first appearance in the August 1962 issue of Journey into Mystery. His premiere in issue number 83 of that series wasn't the only big thing to happen in the Marvel Comics world that month, though, also hitting shelves was Amazing Fantasy number 15, the comic that introduced Spider-Man to the world. 2. In just a few years, Thor's popularity rose to the point where Marvel applied to have the comic book character's full title, and the full title of the series, The Mighty Thor, protected by a trademark. The publisher was granted the trademark by the United States Patent and Trademark Office in 1970. If it be worthy, you should possess the power. 3. Thor the Dark World was filmed in England under the working title Thursday Morning, a reference to the day of the week originally known as Thor's Day. 4. According to Norse mythology, Thor and the other gods of Asgard gain their immortality from eating the magical golden apples of Ijin, which grow in Asgard and can only be picked by the goddess Ijin. This is also the case for the Marvel Comics version of Thor, who has periodically returned to Asgard in order to renew his immortality. 5. The magical hammer Mjolnir isn't the only weapon Thor relies upon in the Marvel Comics universe. His enchanted belt of strength is also an important if frequently overlooked element of his arsenal, as it enhances his strength to almost double its otherwise impressive level. In Norse mythology, these two items are accompanied by magical, iron gloves that allow him to wield Mjolnir. 6. While Thor's powers have changed over time like most other comic book superheroes, the mechanics behind his ability to fly have remained relatively, by comic book standards, at least, stable over the years. In the Marvel Comics universe, when Thor needs to get from one place to another through the air, he throws his hammer into the sky and hangs onto the strap. The hammer then pulls him through the air to his destination. When he needs to hover in mid-air, he twirls the hammer around like the rotor of a helicopter, which keeps him suspended above the ground. 7. One of the many magical enchantments affecting Thor's hammer, Mjolnir, is that only those deemed worthy to wield its power are able to lift it. Several other characters over time have displayed this worthiness by wielding Jalnir, including, but not limited to, Captain America, the alien Beta Ray Bill, the first character to wield Jalnir outside of Marvel's Norse gods, and the human Eric Masterson, who briefly assumed the role of Thor. A sliver of Jalnir was also wielded by Thrug a former football player who was turned into a frog and then assisted Thor during the period when he had been transformed into a frog by Loki, but more on that later. 8. The mighty Thor we're familiar with now was not the first version of Thor to appear in the pages of Marvel's comics. A short-lived series about the character Venus based on the Roman goddess introduced a character based on Thor. 9. In both Marvel's comics and Norse mythology, Thor's affection for Earth stems from his mother's influence. Thor is the child of Odin and the feminine personification of Earth, known as Gia in Marvel's universe, and various other mythologies, and as J.R. in Norse mythology, her other Norse names include Fjörgin and H.L.Y.N. Thor was originally not made aware of his true mother's identity, and was told he was the child of Odin and Frigga. 10. Thor once spent several issues of the mighty Thor as a frog after falling prey to one of Loki's magical schemes. The story, which was penned by celebrated Thor writer Walter Simonson in 1986 and lasted for four issues, saw Thor end up in Central Park and lead a clan of frogs into battle against a horde of rats. 
He eventually returned to Asgard to reclaim his identity, but not before leaving a shard of Mjolnir behind for one of his amphibian allies, a frog named Puddle Gull. That frog eventually became a warrior known as Thrid, and wields a pint-sized version of Mjolnir as part of Marvel's recent Pet Avengers team. Thanks for watching the video. Remember to subscribe the channel to watch many new videos.